Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Tomb World Survival. Here are the recap goals that are looming over my head, and let's get going. So, I did have some incredibly helpful tips. Uh, one is from Alexi. He mentions that I could just combine the uh, geothermal generator to my power grid and then leave this corridor open for the kill box. I very much like that suggestion, and that's something I'm absolutely going to do. Uh, I think that a wider choke point is going to be very helpful. Uh, so we should get working on that. Uh, first things first, I'm going to break down some of these walls. I don't know why I did that manually one by one. Um, and then uh, we are going to reroute. Yeah, let's continue with the granite. It's going to look something like this. And then, of course, this whole corridor will have to uh, dramatically change. So I think I'm going to have it pop out like a little nub here, just a little bit. Um, and then this will, here will be the, the corridor, um, if you can sort of picture that in your mind's eye. Meaning that this all gets destroyed, and that light gets uh, uninstalled. All right. That does mean that uh, it's going to be considerable radiation uh, to make this change. So I'm going to have to be very careful about who is restricted and who is not. But I rather like that. Um, coming at a diagonal is a little weird, but uh, yeah, eh, hopefully it will work. All right, next up, uh, another tip from you guys. So Turtle Sandwich mentions, and this one's kind of a no-brainer, but... Um, I am at a lack of hospital beds. I really should increase the amount that I have so that um, in the case of, uh, you know, wounds or whatnot that I uh, sustain in the battle, in the heat of, you know, combat, uh, I'm able to patch myself up. So I will also get that done. Um, the dresser here, I think, is going to be deconstructed. It's kind of just in the way. Uh, at this point and then maybe even this shelf will get put over here not perfect and Hendrik the second kind of gets stuffed into a corner but uh, it's it's what we could do it's how it would be so uh, another tip oh boy I forget to write I forgot to write down who sent me this one but about the EMP shells for the quest that is up and coming the 24-day EMP shell quest, uh, was that uh, it is an insane amount of steel. Yes, this I know. And how will I uh, s source this incredible amount of steel? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these deep drills. Uh, let me turn the ground penetrating radar back on. I'm going to move the deep drills to where I'm able to mine steel. And uh, we will get steel mined full steam ahead. Uh, so I'm going to move one there and move one uh, here and we'll get a lot more steel going as a result. Cargo pods coming down. Another thing, um, ooh, mega sloth, wool. Oh wait, this is, yeah, never mind. Another thing is uh, trying to grab as many... Um, Trying to grab as many uh, pieces of slag as I can with whoever is healthy enough to grab them. Because I do have some clusters of slag. So here's a cluster, here's a cluster, so on and so forth. Uh, which means caravanning. Which means stripping someone down to their skivvies. Uh, but if that's what I need to do, that's what I need to do. Uh, Tony is almost over the divorce. Which will be very, very, very helpful. Um, Mr. Janes. There's almost no gold there. But, uh, yeah, whatever. All right, reconnecting that. All right, Mr. Stormy. So, Janes, you are going to be hauling this one in. Stormy, you really... Okay, uh, another thing I'm going to do is... So that this is not a contiguous zone, I'm going to add these walls in last. Uh, so that people don't walk in the open there. That would be very, very radiating. How are you talking to Acid? He is nowhere near you. Uh, Janes, I want you to... 
build that stuff. Uh, Stormy just got a trade inspiration, so I potentially could run some silver up to my uh, northern ally and trade for it. Alright, looks like we are at a severe lack of components. So another thing um, is, of course, the digging around the northern mountain. Uh, I might be able to find some components as well. Man, there is so much slag that I out here available for me to use. In fact, there's even raw steel, a ship chunk. Uh, there's there's quite a lot of resources. It's just the trouble is uh, obtaining them without, you know, the sort of risk of super irradiation. Uh, so as far as constructions go, I'm going to lower uh, Agro and James's construction down to four, whereas Kutsumi, Cephalu, Oh, that's aggro. Uh, Acid and Poppy are going to have much higher priori prioritizations for construction. And then when their Luciferium, or Luciferum, when their radiation uh, subsides, I will um, unrestrict them and uh, get them to work on the walls and all that jazz that I want them to do. So some of this. Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff is not too irradiating, but a lot of it is. A lot of it's honestly pretty bad. As you can see here, Acid is botching. Now part of the reason he's botching is uh, as his radiation goes up, his body functions decrease. Alright, so that's about enough out of you, buddy. You're going to be set to no rads. Poppy should be on no rads. Kazumi, um, wait, you are, oh, you went really, really far. You also, uh, yeah, you probably should get set to no rads. All right, Semph, what about you? Okay, man, we have a very irradiated crew. Sifalu, very irradiated crew. Uh, all right, let's check the medical tab. So hired gun and 11 are the lowest. I would say actually just go ahead and yeah, everybody currently is restricted to no rads. Because of how dang irradiated, irradiating that all is. All right, for aggro, I'm, you know, I'm not about to start the reactor raids. Let's go forbid that and work towards the MP shells. Now, the other question is, of course, uh, Jane's here is mining up the steel. Is there someone else that can mine? No, there really, really isn't, unfortunately. I guess, Semph, I could put you in mining. He's a level 6 miner. Not amazing, but uh, he might do. I'm going to get rid of these old steel traps uh, as well. And, um, I'm going to put a shelf here. Now, uh, I'm going to start to place resource stockpiles like blocks and whatnot, um, sort of everywhere around the base so that in the case of, uh, so, sort of damage or whatever, uh, we have repair, uh, materials close by. Alright, Tony, just hang on in there. You only... Ooh, Semph has a go inspiration. You only have a uh, sadder radiation for a short period longer. Gotta say, it is a lot of work. A lot of work to prep for the end. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? So the more preparation I put in, the more likely everybody will survive. More cargo pods coming down, and of course they are uh, on my trade outpost. Alright, Stormy here. I'm gonna end up having probably a lot of idle people. Um, just because they are lower in their own radiation, and I really don't want them out. 
Now it is potentially dangerous to have the Helmex serum right next to the deep drill, but uh, if we get a um, infestation due to the deep drill, I don't think they're going to be coming. They won't spawn in there. Let's hope. I will take my chances. Oh, Semph just got food poisoning. That's not good. Checking our cook. No, nope, we don't have any bad cooks. And the kitchen looks fairly clean. So I don't know what that's about. We're getting through a lot of the uh, the wort that we had backed up, which is awesome. I'm going to have Aggro finish this one advanced component that's just been laying here and then go back to the regular components. So another thing I could do is for people that... Um, don't particularly construct well, like Hired Gun, for instance. Uh, I can have him running for slag. And um, we're going to have to... I'll probably let his radiation get a little bit lower. I'm also going to have to ditch his minigun and probably some of his armor so that he's lighter weight. So that the uh, slag hall isn't hard to, to obtain. And I'm going to suspend the smelt weapons. So we're only smelting slag. So we don't have any accidental like, whoops, where'd my weapon go? Because that would not be good. Hmm. Oh, that's a marble spike trap. So these old steel spike traps I'm going to break down for the materials. In fact, I'm going to break down the marble ones as well. We don't really need them, I don't think. And I, at the moment, sort of need the, uh, the extra steel. So the old spike traps serving a purpose, just not what they were built for. Alright, so we're up to 21 AMP shells, getting a little bit closer to that uh, end goal. Taking a look, hired gun, you are going to make a run. So I'm going to have you stand here, you're going to drop flak vest, minigun. But keep everything else on. And he is going to make a run for some slag for us to, uh, to smelt down. I'm going to start to grab the slag around the base, uh, because if there's ever a shootout scenario, I don't want to offer cover to the enemies. That would be obviously um, foolish. And slag uh, actually offers a decent amount of cover. Not um, not amazing, but enough that you should be concerned about. And I think what I'm going to do, ooh, Boomrat just got named Elvira. Uh, what I'm going to do is just dump the slag here because other people then can carry it. This is uh, an no rad zone. And we got a too deep infestation. All right. Let's pause just a moment. Uh, this turret is going on. Um, don't run away, Janes. All right. Who else is in the near area? Uh, I didn't realize Stormy had a sniper rebel. That's a bit of a mistake. Alright, hired gun, there's really nothing you could do without a weapon, so... Where's a next batch of slag for you to grab? Let's check your health. So it's still initial. Um... Alright, Semph. Maybe I can get in there in time. I'm just trying to fit as many shooters in as I can. I was sort of expecting a too deep infestation to happen. Um, but they don't spawn too many when they happen. So it's possible that uh, you know, it won't be so damaging. Man, there's just a lot of raw steel up there. That's actually the steel I spawned with that I was never able to really claim. Which is kind of fun. Alright, Tony's going to get a little hurt here. But, oh, so follow, stand back. Uh, Semp has major food poisoning, so he's really not going to be all that helpful. Well, 
What is to follow? Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to repair, why not? Uh, hired gun. Let's see. You continue down this tunnel, and we'll try to grab some more slag. All right, I think that's it. Uh, Tony was the only one that got injured, and oh, she actually had a pretty nasty knuck, knuck, uh, neck cut. And I like how Jane's immediately, without fail, goes straight back to um. Ooh, cargo pods coming down for me. Uh, it's not a lot of slag though. Something valuable though. Oh, some yayo. Yeah, yeah. Well, valuable in air quotes. All right, Mr. Stormy, uh, I'm going to have you switch weapons to an assault rifle. Because sniper rifles are good, but not good against uh, mass targets. Their DPS is actually ridiculously low. Uh, then I'm going to kill, splat some of these uh, bugs to death. So they can't get back up. And the first thing I did was repair the uranium turret, because you don't want that to go bye-bye. Alright, hired gun. You're on the hunt for slag, are ya? Twenty-three, twenty-eight. Alright. Um, he could carry a little bit more by hauling, but uh, I'd like to manually control him like this. Alright, colonist needs treatment. Oh, you just have some bruises. Well, get to bed anyway. Alright, so he is as radiated as I want him to be. Uh, so let's go ahead and dump the slag out. And then we are going to have to... Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to find another person to fill his shoes. So, uh, Stormy, you are going to be added to the caravan. And you two are going to ditch gear, uh, hire gun, you're going to cancel, oh, I didn't mean to cancel caravan forming, my bad, uh, I'm just going to have to do this quick, sorry, I meant to remove him from the caravan, which is a bit different. Hard gun, we are going to get you in a minigun and a flak vest. And acid, there is... There you go, you're done. Alright, Safalu so is the janitor in this case. Totally fine by me. Stormy, you're ready to go. We're all taking turns. Service for the community. A really weird community service of, hey guys, who wants to get irradiated today? But, you know, whatever. It's too bad that when you have um, bionic arms, you can't carry more. I mean, I do realize that just because you have strong arms doesn't mean your carry weight necessarily goes up. As, you know, there's more involved, like a strong back, core, etc. But still, it would be nice. Uh, Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this on limited radiation because there's just one left. Put you on limited duration, tell you to haul that, and you should, yeah, he's hauling it through the, uh, the cave systems, which is perfect. Now there's some raw steel up there that I could grab, but yeah, as you can see, this is a very irradiating process. My thinking is how, oh, it's, I guess, 100% lit here. And one of the issues is, of course, um, we can't really haul these bugs off to bug storage because everybody's on um, limited uh, or no rad, rad zones. And um, as a result, no one can go up there. All right, Tony's all patched up. We're up to uh, 24 EMP shells. 
That's not bad. Let's get this smelter on. And then that will supplement the steel that we're losing to the EMP shells. And, uh... Hired gun. You actually put a vest back on. Uh, let, let me uh, lift the forced restrictions here. Um, Stormy, you are going to put yours back on as well. It's too bad you can't just, uh, there's no such thing as like, wear it, but um, don't force it. That'd be nice in this case. Alright, so there we are, slagging again. I think what I'll do is I'll add Mega Spiders and Spellopedes to the Butcher list, or to the um, the Corpse list here. Um, so that uh, we might be able to get the bugs in that corridor cleaned up. So, Because everybody's on, no rads, no one's going to source from over here. They are going to grab these bugs and put them into storage. And what I'll do is I'll actually forbid the... Uh, the big corpses, so that we can get through the small corpses. Uh, Acid's lover is asking for help. She's 16? Acid, how old are you? Okay, I'm going to offer safety. You are naked in the middle of nowhere. Oof. Alright, so you are an athlete. Nervous, chemical interest, depressive. Um, yikes. That is really a terrible combination. You also are an addict on Wake Up. I don't know why I fed you Wake Up when you got in. To run faster, I guess? You're 16. Acid, you are 23. Okay. Uh, that's illegal. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm sorry to do this, Acid, but I'm going to banish your lover here because A, it's illegal. And B, uh, she's terrible. So I tried. I tried my very hardest to uh, to offer safety, but uh, it's just not going to work out this time around. All right. Here's a bunch of uh, heal, or herbal meds, heal root, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to really stockpile up on my required, um, on my required uh, meds, so that when the end game raids come, I'm plenty prepared. Alright, so she is ready to go to sleep. I'm getting her out of bed because she doesn't need to be there. Ah, uh, she's healing up. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so these shelves here are going to be... Let's put the traps in them now. Items. Or rather, uh, buildings. Security. Uh, incendiary. Copy the settings, paste the settings, reinstall here and here. So follow your standard right here. Let's work on shelves. There, now we don't even have to haul them. Tony's on a food binge. You're entombed underground. You know, that entombing underground actually keeps you alive. So, uh, so follow you are rather low radiation. I'm going to next have him... I'm going to put him on limited radiation zone and micromanage him as he uh, works on this construction project. Because when we have something this irradiating, it's best to forget that meal. It's best to uh, micromanage. All right, now 
from in here, let me turn my uh, roof overlay on so I can actually see. I should be able to destroy a lot of this stuff. Alright, uh, this deep drill is exhausted. That's not to say the vein is exhausted, I just need to move the deep drill a little bit. Alright, Savalu is having a, a mental breakdown now. I'm just going to break down as much as I can get to now and put him back on no rads because he's moody. So that, um, we're not quite done yet, obviously, but we're getting closer. We definitely have an opening. Um, everybody should be back on no rads, and they are. So follow, you are a very, oh, you're going on a wake up binge. Lovely. Well, here, eat. I don't really see him actually binging on Wake Up. Um, that's totally okay for me. Okay, all the bugs have been moved. That's good. Actually, I'm going to put you on this portion. Uh, well, no, no, no. Let me just let you finish. Okay, next up... 11, Poppy, and Senf, and Tony. We have a lot of people that are lowering in their radiation now, which is really good, because I'm going to need the help. We did a pretty good job of uh, getting the EMP shells. Oh, he's addicted. <sighs> okay. Um, well, he's going to be all sorts of a nuisance for a long, long time, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, you, higher guns, sorry, you're gonna lose your bedroom. Uh, you will move to Safalu's. I think y'all know what's about to happen. Um, yes, we will actually, uh, you know, this is sort of a family matter, so let's have, um, Tony, you're gonna rest your own father. And yeah, let's, uh, let's drink his beer. Oh, wow, we let him out. Wait, where'd he go? You, no, 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 no. You are going to actually be arrested for a long time. I want his entire wake-up duration to be uh, in prison. I guess I, what I could have done is thrown all the wake-up into the transport pods, but, you know, oh well, whatever. All right, as far as Butcher Creature goes... Oh, this is the Butcher Creature for insects. Yeah, all insects are allowed. Okay, good. And uh, I'm going to commit a little bit of a war crime here. He's going to eat... Uh, yeah, maybe he won't eat without a table. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll build him a little copy here. Just because he's in prison doesn't mean I can't treat him nice, I suppose. All right, another thing I'm going to want is some sort of uh, enclosure for that deep drill. All right, we'll let him bash things. Uh, I have auto repair on anyway. All this is doing is having Kazumi level up. Alright, Kazumi, your health is good. I'm going to put you on limited duration zone. And have you can deconstruct these walls.
All right, so that was the most important wall there. Uh, I gotta put this on limited as well. All right, now we don't have a big gaping hole that people can enter our base from. I know that there's a hole down there, but um, I'm gonna let Kazumi eat. All right, checking her health. She's up in minor. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm gonna try to redline as much as I can. That's about as much as I can redline. Put her on no rads. Then, Poppy, you are next. Uh, put you on limited radi radiation zone. Haul these, uh, haul these blocks away. Not a lot of construction tasks left to do on that. Uh, now, I want you to go around. And we'll break this down. Uh, then, of course, there is this um, power. I think the best bet is just to have a single line of power. So I'm going to have to rebuild that a little bit. Hmm, no, actually, maybe I won't even bother. I'll just leave the cables where they are. It's not like it's going to harm much. Alright, hauling that to somewhere where we're not irradiated. And that too. So this... Oh no, that's in a... How'd you drop it there? Okay, there we go. Now I can restrict everybody to no rads and we're fine. I'm just cleaning up my limited radiation zone so that people don't go out and harm themselves. Good, very good. Uh, we have now a kill box with a very much wider entrance. Uh, I'm probably going to have to build up the kill box a little bit. And I might want to actually... Well, this is overhead mountain. I might want to actually remove some of this roof here so I don't have to hold it up um, with the marble walls. Uh, that way there's not marble walls in the way. That might be another good thing to do. Acid, what's got you down? Your lover? Oh, yeah, yeah. I banished your lover. She don't know she died. I don't know where she went. You also shouldn't love a 16-year-old. But, yeah, that's that's a whole different um, can of worms, I suppose. We are cranking out the Yayo for trade purposes, not for uh, consumption. And checking again. So 11. You're at 6.4. Agro's at 12. Agro should stay low. But 11. Um, you have a construction of basically nothing. Uh, so we're going to go for more slag. Now, I think at this point, aggro can't even keep up with the amount of um, steel that we've been adding to the community due to the do two deep drills and all that. Whoa! An architect arm? There's 11 enemies, though. I don't know. I mean, that... I could cheese it and, like, burrow into the mountain, but um, I kind of feel bad doing that. Not gonna lie. Semph, have you been be... You're really no better of a miner. Okay, that's too bad. Alright, well his needs in there are getting a little bit better. He still hasn't even started his wake-up addiction cooldown. That's going to be a brutal process. Uh, so now we have 51 meds. You know, I think I'm actually going to make up until... 74, um, meaning that we really do get 75 out of them. Really stocking them nice and high just for the end game. Uh, but 11, you're up. I'm going to have you, you're going to get a little cold because you're taking off your marine armor and your shield belt. 
But uh, let's get you to haul some more slag. This is probably a little reminiscent of CI survival for, for some of you guys. Because uh, running in, in the open like this was very CI survival y. Alright, this time you're going to go south. What I should have done is I should have put uh, doors here so I could get past these traps without potentially triggering them. Because just because you know a trap's there doesn't mean it's always safe to uh, to pass over. Some people are clumsy. Oh, hard gun and aggro going at it. All right, so that is the weight capacity limit that we've hit. Um, I don't want you going that way. So let's add this to limited radiation. Put you. Uh, I'm going to need to find a new caravan here. Tony, it's going to be you. And then 11, you're going to get removed. Why are you running that way? Oof, come on. It's because I don't have all the pathing there, and this is the closest outlet. How bad is that going to... Yeah, it's pretty bad for your health, but I'm going to have her do it anyway. Alright, Tony, you're up. Please don't set yourself on fire. Alright, so... Yeah, she went up to 20%. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Aggro and higher gun. No permanent injuries there. That's good. Stormy, could you go heal them? Tony, back to you. You are full up. And next up will be Semph. And then when they get home, I need to uh, need to have them uh, put their gear back on. So, what am I doing? Tony here, remove from caravan, put on limited radiation zone, haul, and you're going to go again the weird way. This is very irradiating, but whatever. It's, it's just how I'm going to roll with it. Semph, you're up. And this should be a lot, of, uh, a lot of steel at the end of the day. Alright, uh, that means that... Um, 11. Let's get that worn. Put you on no rads. Semph hates this. Don't worry. I don't particularly enjoy having my guys march around in the irradiated wastelands either. Hopefully he doesn't have a mental breakout here, because that would be really, really damaging. And I'm going to cancel the caravans altogether this time. I'm not sending another person out just yet. And I'm also going to need to expand my slag zone. There we go. Alright, Tony. Um, this... I'm going to ruin my, the ambiance, but have you dump everything out there? All right, so 11 and Tony, you can ditch your forced requirements. Simps running in. And there we go. Mr. Semph, get your weapons and armor back, and then we'll get you happy. Looking good. That's a lot of steel that I've managed to uh, haul in 
23 chunks will yield quite a lot. And how's our shells? Oh, we're up to 40. It's pretty good, pretty good. Alright, when we make medicine, haul to... Alright, so temp crafting, we're going to allow medicine. Just so that it starts to count. So when we make medicine here, we will haul the temp crafting. Alright, everybody is all healed up. Uh, aggro's radiation is getting pretty low, which is good. But then again, someone needs to go on the trade run. So if I can keep aggro's radiation really low, uh, he's a good trade runner. Uh, Stormy and Hired Gun. Go haul that clothing. No need to leave it out there. Alright, I'm also going to want to store marble out here. And another thing I could potentially do, if I have enough cloth, is to um, add some cloth here so I can set the entrance of my kill box on fire. Uh, I'm going to have to get real creative with the ways I thwart raiders, I think. Looks like we are down to the last of the meals, so I need to allow for um, really any of these bugs to be butchered. Because no one's getting up to get new ones. So yeah, whoever our cook should be on that in a moment. Sorry I didn't notice sooner. Oh, Tony, yeah, you're on limited. I'm about to get her on no red. Okay, we have plenty for lavish meals, so what's going on here? Uh, make the lavish first, and then the simples. That'll be a little bit better. Jane's leveling up in uh, mining. That's nice. Alright, so these shelves are getting built. And I'm planning on, um, the reason why I'm putting them on shelves is, uh, blocks on the ground are ugly. Blocks on shelves are not ugly. And that makes the zones around here a little bit more impressive, so that I have fewer mood breaks. Yes, it's like... A teeny, teeny difference. I mean, it really is a microscopic difference, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so I'm going to build a shelf here and here. Basically, the... the ugh, maybe that's a little too close. The idea is to basically have uh, repair materials really anywhere I need them. Uh, so I'll also do a shelf down there. And that way, if we have a breach of some sort, uh, we've got the ability to repair said breach quickly. And efficiently. So I'm going to spread them out a little bit better. Food binge because you're sick. Uh, usually when I'm sick, I don't go on a food binge. That sounds really uncomfortable. I'm just going to throw that out there. Alright, so that's one shelf stocked. Uh, this should be marble blocks as well, guys. They kind of forgot. Storage, marble blocks, yep. Yeah, I don't know why they're hauling it away. Copy that setting, paste it. Yeah, actually, I'm going to install this. Oops, I'm going to install this in the center of the room so that I can use it for cover if I need to. Alright, good. We've got uh, blocks stationed everywhere for the most part. All along our base makes for easy, easy repairs and supply resupplies. No 
Another, wow, he is a really efficient driller. Another resource node depleted. Uh, ooh, you're food binging on raw? Ugh. Hard gun. Let's get you to cook overhaul. Because people are eating... I mean, it kind of serves Kazumi, right? She's going on a food binge because she feels sick eating raw rice. She's going to have some vomits, I think. Why are you hauling lavish... Don't I have a lavish meal? Oh, so... I think the issue is... Uh, I don't have the stockpile for lavish meals. Temp tea, temp simple meals, eggs. So in temp, temp simple meals, I'm gonna do rice for cooking. Also there was a, oh, that's not good. Electrical short out here. I don't think the, um. I don't think it should be able to spread that much. So, meat, I'm actually gonna rename um, Temp Lavish. We have meat so infrequently, I'm not gonna worry about it. So then, when I make lavish meals, we'll take them to the, take to Temp Lavish meals, and then eventually they'll end up in the lavish meals. All right, that's a little bit better. Higher gun, would you cook? All right, let's take a look at what ends up burning. I think it will just be, yeah, it might be some of the other steel stuff. Doesn't feel good, man, but I don't know, I'll keep, keep an eye. Uh, it's gonna burn my chest table, yeah. It's gonna burn a whole bunch of stuff, but it's not, it's not gonna be too terrible. Now, we have a giant backlog of um, of slag to manage. Oh, and I guess I was low on kibble as well. There, now I have plenty of kibble. So Falu is wandering. Oh, good, good for you. So his wake-up addiction is already at 60%. That's not that bad. I'm gonna shrink the zone here so that we can move around a little bit easier. All right, so now we're actually getting proper lavish meals out. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll cook up to 20 lavish meals instead. Um, temp simple meals is gonna go away. And when we make temp simple meals, we'll just bring over so lavish meals here is going to expand. We'll have 20 lavish meals, and then this will be simple meals. I know, a lot of little changes here. And then we make the simple meals, we'll just take them to simple meals. Uh, any worker, take two simple meals. So it's a little bit of a haul, but we're only making three of them. And uh, I think that's about all the time I have. I actually went a little bit longer than I usually do. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line, please. Uh, I am really looking for feedback about defense of this strangely shaped base when it comes to the reactor raids. And I hope that you, uh, you got something to say. And if I like your uh, suggestions, like I liked turtle sandwiches and Alexis, uh, I will say it out aloud on the stream. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you all later. Adios.